Have you ever wondered about the end times? What does the book of Daniel reveal about these mysterious and often misunderstood events? Welcome to our exploration of the apocalypse through Daniel's eyes. Let's embark on a journey through the book of Daniel, a prophetic masterpiece that offers profound insights into the end times. The book of Daniel is rich in prophetic imagery and symbolism. It's like a divine jigsaw puzzle waiting to be pieced together. This Old Testament book, written during the Babylonian exile, is filled with dreams and visions that provide a glimpse into the rise and fall of kingdoms, the emergence of the Antichrist, and the ultimate triumph of God's kingdom. What's fascinating about Daniel is that he isn't just a passive observer of these visions. He's an active participant, engaging with angels and wrestling with the interpretations of his dreams. His visions aren't merely predictions of the future, but a divine revelation of God's plan for humanity. One of the most renowned visions in the book of Daniel is that of the four beasts. Each beast represents a different kingdom, each rising to power before the end times. The fourth beast, particularly terrifying with ten horns and iron teeth, symbolizes a mighty and destructive empire. Another significant vision is that of the ram and the goat. Here, a ram with two horns is defeated by a goat with a single horn. This symbolizes the defeat of Persia by Greece, as foretold by Daniel. Lastly, there's the vision of the 70 weeks. It's a timeline of events leading up to the end times, predicting the coming of the Messiah, the destruction of Jerusalem, and the rise of the Antichrist. Daniel's visions are a treasure trove of insights into the apocalypse. Studying these can help us better understand the signs of the end times and prepare for the coming of God's kingdom. So join us as we delve into the prophetic dreams and visions of Daniel, revealing the rise and fall of kingdoms, the coming of the Antichrist, and the ultimate victory of God's kingdom. Our journey into Daniel's visions begins with the four beasts. As we delve deeper into this fascinating revelation, we encounter four distinct beasts, each symbolizing a different kingdom. These are not just any kingdoms, but ones that have significant roles in the grand narrative of the end times. The first beast, described as a lion with eagle's wings, is a symbol of power and swiftness. It's a representation of a kingdom that will rise with strength and rapid expansion. But just as swiftly as it rises, its wings are plucked off, and it is made to stand on two feet like a man, signifying a humbling or downfall. The second beast, likened to a bear, is noted for its ferocity and strength. Raised up on one side, it speaks of a kingdom that will dominate others, consuming much flesh in its conquests. Yet its reign, like the first beast, is temporary and destined to fall. The third beast, appearing as a leopard with four wings and four heads, represents a kingdom of speed and multiplicity. This beast's reign will be swift and diverse, impacting various regions simultaneously. However, its time too will come to an end, making way for the fourth beast. Now, the fourth beast is one that stands out, not just for its terrifying appearance, but also for its symbolic significance. With iron teeth and ten horns, this beast is a symbol of a powerful and destructive empire. Its reign is characterized by ruthlessness and terror, devouring and trampling the residue with its feet. Its ten horns represent ten kings that will arise from this empire, further extending its power and influence. However, as dreadful as this beast may seem, it's important to remember that its rule is not eternal. A divine court is held, and the dominion of the beast is taken away, its body destroyed and given to the burning flame. This signifies that no matter how powerful these earthly kingdoms may appear, they are but temporary players in the grand scheme of God's sovereign plan. The vision of the four beasts is a prophetic picture of the rise and fall of earthly kingdoms leading up to the end times. It serves as a sobering reminder of the transient nature of earthly power and the ultimate triumph of God's eternal kingdom. The beasts, while terrifying, are not meant to incite fear, but rather to provide understanding. They are symbolic figures, each carrying a message about the epics of history that are to come. They give us a glimpse into the future, preparing us for what lies ahead. As terrifying as these beasts might seem, they serve as a stark reminder of the empires that will rise and fall before the end times. Yet, amidst all the tumult and chaos, we can take comfort in the fact that God's kingdom will ultimately prevail, standing firm and eternal when all else has passed away. Daniel's second vision, the ram and the goat, offers further insight into the nations of the world. Now let's dive in and explore this fascinating vision. In the book of Daniel chapter 8, we are introduced to a peculiar vision involving two distinct animals, a ram and a goat. The ram, we learn, has two tall horns, one longer than the other, 
symbolizing the kings of Media and Persia. The goat, on the other hand, is described as having a conspicuous horn between its eyes, representing the kingdom of Greece. These two animals were not merely chosen at random. They bear significant meaning and represent real historical empires. The ram, with its two uneven horns, symbolizes the Medo-Persian Empire, a dual kingdom with the Persians eventually becoming more dominant than the Medes, reflecting the disparity in the horn's lengths. On the other side of the vision, we have the goat. This goat didn't just have any horn, but a notable one. This horn is a symbol of a distinct and powerful king of Greece. History has shown us that this was none other than Alexander the Great. This goat charged at the ram with such ferocity, shattering its two horns, demonstrating the swift and decisive victory of Greece over the Medo Persian Empire. This vision was more than just a prediction, it was a precise foretelling of events that would later unfold in the world stage. The prophecy was given during the Babylonian reign, yet it accurately portrayed the rise and fall of empires that would come after Babylon. The Medo Persian Empire, symbolized by the ram, did rise to power becoming a dominant force in the region. However, just as the vision foretold, it was eventually defeated by the Greek Empire, represented by the goat. The single horn, the first king of Greece, was broken off at the height of his power, akin to the sudden death of Alexander the Great. In its place, four notable horns grew, representing the four generals who took over Alexander's empire after his untimely death. This vision was not just about the rise and fall of empires, it also depicted the transitions of power within those empires, providing a detailed and accurate prediction of future events. Daniel's vision of the ram and the goat, thus, serves as a powerful testimony to the prophetic accuracy of the Bible. It's not just about predicting events, but about providing a larger perspective on the shifting powers of the world, giving us a glimpse into the divine orchestration of historical events. Through this vision, Daniel provides a prophetic glimpse into the shifting powers of the world. So as we study these visions, we gain not just historical insights, but also a profound understanding of the divine narrative that continues to unfold in our world today. Perhaps one of the most intriguing of Daniel's visions is that of the 70 weeks. In this vision, an angel delivers a message to Daniel, providing him with a timeline for the events leading up to the end times. The 70 weeks prophecy is a complex one, layered with symbolic meaning and historical references. At the heart of this prophecy is the notion of 70 weeks or sevens. In the original Hebrew text, the word used is Shabuah, which can mean seven, week or set of seven. It's generally accepted by scholars that these weeks represent sets of seven years rather than literal seven day weeks. So the 70 weeks prophecy spans a period of 490 years. Now let's delve into the specifics of this prophecy. It's divided into three distinct periods, seven weeks, 62 weeks, and one week. The first seven weeks, or 49 years, are said to begin with the issuing of a decree to rebuild Jerusalem, which was in ruins at the time of the prophecy. This period ends with the city and its walls rebuilt, albeit in troublous times. The next 62 weeks, or 434 years, extend from the end of the first period to the coming of a prince, widely interpreted as the Messiah, Jesus Christ. This period ends with the Messiah being cut off, a reference to Christ's crucifixion. The final week is a seven-year period that is yet to come. It begins with a peace treaty enforced by a prince to come, often understood as the Antichrist. Halfway through this week, the Antichrist breaks the treaty, leading to a period known as the Great Tribulation. This culminates in the return of Christ and the establishment of God's everlasting kingdom. This vision of the 70 weeks is not just a timeline, but a countdown to the end times. It provides a chronological framework for the rise and fall of empires, the coming of the Messiah, the destruction of Jerusalem, and the ultimate victory of God's kingdom. However, it's important to remember that interpreting these prophecies is not an exact science. The visions are filled with symbolic language and imagery that can be understood in various ways. Scholars have debated the exact meaning and fulfillment of these prophecies for centuries, and continue to do so today. Yet, despite these debates, the central message of Daniel's vision of the 70 weeks remains clear. God has a plan for history. It's a plan that includes the rise and fall of kingdoms, the advent of the Messiah, and the final triumph of God's kingdom. And it's a plan that, according to Daniel, is ticking down to its ultimate fulfillment. With the vision of the 70 weeks, 
Daniel gives us a prophetic countdown to the end times. Daniel's visions offer us a unique and valuable insight into the end times. As we journey into the conclusion of our exploration of Daniel's visions, let's take a moment to reflect on the profound symbolism and prophetic insights we have unearthed. The book of Daniel, an integral part of biblical prophecy, offers a window into the apocalypse, a glimpse into the end times through a series of prophetic dreams and visions. These visions, as we've seen, reveal the rise and fall of kingdoms, the coming of the Antichrist, and the ultimate victory of God's kingdom. We began with the vision of the four beasts, each symbolizing a different kingdom set to rise before the end times. The fourth beast, particularly terrifying with its iron teeth and ten horns, encapsulates a powerful and destructive empire. This vision, in its vivid and unsettling imagery, serves as a reminder of the trials and tribulations that are to come before the ultimate triumph of God's kingdom. Then, we delved into the vision of the ram and the goat. The ram, with its two horns, faced defeat by a goat with a single horn, symbolizing the historical defeat of Persia by Greece. This vision not only reflects past events but also points towards future conflicts, highlighting the cyclical nature of power and the constant struggle between nations. Our journey then took us to the 70 weeks vision. Here, we discovered a timeline for the events leading up to the end times. It predicts the coming of the Messiah, the destruction of Jerusalem, and the rise of the Antichrist. This vision, like a roadmap, guides us through the intricate timeline of events that will unfold before the apocalypse. In essence, these visions provide a prophetic blueprint for the end times. They serve as a compass, guiding us through the complex labyrinth of biblical prophecy. By understanding these visions, we can better comprehend the signs of the end times and prepare ourselves for the coming of God's kingdom. It's akin to being given a glimpse of the final chapters of history, allowing us to anticipate what's to come and prepare accordingly. However, it's important to remember that these visions are not merely predictions or timelines. They are also spiritual lessons, reminding us of the transient nature of worldly power and the eternal reign of God's kingdom. They urge us to look beyond the temporal and focus on the eternal, encouraging us to live in accordance with God's will in anticipation of His kingdom. This exploration into Daniel's visions is not just a historical or prophetic study. It's a spiritual journey, one that invites us to delve deeper into our faith, to question, to seek, and to understand. It's a journey that challenges us to look beyond the surface, to seek the deeper truths hidden within these visions, and to apply these lessons in our daily lives. The book of Daniel, with its profound visions, serves as a beacon of hope. Despite the trials and tribulations foretold, it reassures us of the ultimate victory of God's kingdom. It's a reminder that no matter how tumultuous the times may be, God's sovereignty remains unchallenged. His kingdom will prevail, and His will shall be done. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Daniel's visions. Please subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos on biblical prophecy and end-time events.